Hello and welcome to another episode of Time Scheduler in under 10 minutes. In this episode, we are going to work with Dynamics 365 customer service. I'm going to show a simple example that should demonstrate how easy it is to plan service cases using the Power Platform and the Dataverse. So let's get started. If my memory isn't failing me right now, I believe this is the 11th episode of this series already. If you've watched previous videos before, you know what's going to happen next. I'll take you on a quick tour of what's on screen right now. I have opened a simple Edge browser with a couple of tabs that we'll use throughout this demonstration. The current active tab shows our trusty planning tool Dime Scheduler. We also have the second tab where we will find a customer service instance. And the other tabs are Power Automate flows that we'll use to set up the connection between customer service and Dime Scheduler. I'm not going to spend too much time in Dime Scheduler today. I would rather focus on customer service and the Power Platform and the Dataverse to showcase how easy it is to set up the connection between customer service and Dime Scheduler. Because as opposed to Business Central, there is no standard connector for Dime Scheduler in customer service. But we can use the Power Platform, our connector and the Dataverse to set up the connection. And frankly, it is quite easy. And that's my goal of this video to show you how that can be done. Like Dime Scheduler itself, Customer service has many potential use cases, and that fits in really well with the philosophy of our planning tool. Because one of the key tenets is that anything can be a task and anything can be a resource. Up to you to decide and to define what constitutes a resource and what constitutes a task. In this demonstration, we are going to plan service cases and we're going to plan on two levels. We can plan cases and we can plan case tasks. Let's start by planning at the case level. When I talk about planning levels, I refer to the level of detail that you'd like to be planning at. Perhaps you want to plan every single step in the project, or maybe you just want to plan the entire assignment that consists of a number of steps. It's ultimately up to you to decide what level makes sense. In this scenario here, we can think about technicians going on the road to fix heating systems and air conditioners, or maybe placing virtual assistants to work an entire morning for a certain customer. To plan a service case, you can use standard functionality of customer service, Dime Scheduler, the Power Platform, and everything that's connected to it. So typically you would create your service case in customer service or open an existing one. Make sure all the information is filled out, in which case you can then start planning it in, which you can do by going to the flows section in the ribbon and then send over this case to Dime Scheduler. And when I run this flow, within a couple of moments, we'll have a new case available in our open tasks list. Let's have a look if it's already showing up there. There we go. Here we have that case that we just sent over from customer service. Before we move on and plan in this case, I'd like to show you what's going on behind the scenes when you run this particular flow. So this item corresponds to this Power Automate flow. And as you can tell, it is pretty simple. Whenever you click that button, it will run this flow, pass along some contextual information about that case, which we can use in the next steps. This flow obviously has only one step, which is to add or update a Dime scheduler task. And we're going to use the case information to create our Dime Scheduler task, like case number, title, description, and more. 
So this action is responsible for the generation of this item in the planning tool. As soon as a record appears in this list, it's ultimately up to the planner to decide what's going to happen next, regardless of task type, whether it is a service order in Business Central or a service case in customer service. So he can use components like the map or the resource filters or the capacity and planning pivot grid to find the right resource for the job. In the end though, it's all about dragging and dropping the task to the right slot on the planning board. Like for example, we can assign this service case to resource Johnny Marr on Thursday. One of the other key tenets of the application is that the story continues somewhere else as soon as an appointment has been planned on the planning board. So we can write back to systems like Business Central, like customer service, we can push the planning to Outlook calendars and basically notify any system that wants to be notified of this new planning data. And here again, we can use the power of the power platform and use our connector to trigger new flows with the appointment information that we produced on the planning board. And that's my cue again to show you what's going on behind the scenes. We can have a look at the transactions for this appointment where we'll see what's actually being done. Here we have one connector that runs a power automate flow which is this one in the designer. It is kicked off whenever a new appointment is created in Dime Scheduler, passing along the entire appointment data graph that we can use in the next couple of steps, which in this case will be to use Dataverse actions to get the case, add a note, and even add the appointment to the case. Scattered throughout the actions, you'll see appointment information from Dime Scheduler to do the things we want to do, which is to add a note to warn people something happened and even to add an appointment to that service case. So this results in the following, where we'll have a note that says that appointment information has been booked and even just created an appointment altogether. But as you can imagine, you can do much more with that, even expand into other areas that the power platform and the dataverse can access. For those wanting to plan on a lower level, they could consider using service case tasks rather than service cases. The process nonetheless is about the same, it's just a different table that we're going to use as a source to create tasks in Dime Scheduler. So it's all about the same, just make sure everything's filled out and then execute a power automate flow that's responsible for generating a task in the open tasks list. In contrast to the case level, we're not going to invoke a button, but we have an automatic trigger setup that will create the tasks for us in the planning tool, which is shown in this particular our automate flow. And the process is just about the same. The trigger is different. It's using a Dataverse trigger and then we'll make sure it creates a job and a task in Dime Scheduler using the case information and this case task that we just created in the service case. And that results in the following case in the open task list. And again here, the process is about the same. You just use the tools at your disposal and then just start dragging and dropping the case task to the right resource and date and time. And again here, if there is our automate flow listening to that appointment information, it will then create an appointment and a note to that service case in customer service. So I've, if I hit F5 here, we should see a new appointment and a new note has been added to this service case. That's all the time we have for now. I hope you have a better understanding of how we can visualize your work in customer service and plan them in more efficiently using Dime Scheduler 
and the Power Platform through the Dataverse. For more information, check out our website, dimescheduler.com, and get your free demo. Until then, I'll see you in the next episode.